Hi Kindergarten, Miss Bo right here with your daily math lesson. I am really excited about today's lesson because we are going to take last week's learning and extend it just a little bit more. So I have all of the cards that we used last week, the number cards that we used when we were ordering numbers from least to greatest. Do you remember that? Good, so smallest numbers to largest numbers. So I have those exact same cards, but I made a few new cards that we're going to talk about today. So this is going to be our goal for the day. We are going to compare numbers using symbols. These symbols have a name and a purpose. So they are the great, greater than and less than sign. And then there's also a symbol that is called the equals to sign or the same as. So equal to means same. And then last week we talked a little bit about greater than and less than. So we are going to use these number symbols to compare all of these numbers today. If you would like to join me in this learning or try when the video is over, all you need to do is grab your number cards from last week and make yourself some symbols. And we're going to get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have everything set up and ready to go. You'll need your number cards and then our new symbols that we're talking about today are greater than, less than, and our equal to symbol. So how we do this is you're going to take two numbers from your number stack. And just like we did last week, how we compared them and sorted them from least to greatest, we're gonna do that same thing. You can use your number chart, your hundreds chart. You can look at the tens and the ones places, but we're going to add these symbols. Um, I personally like to think about this symbol as an alligator mouth. And do alligators love to eat lots of food? Yes. Would they want to eat the bigger prey? Yes. So I like to think about these as an alligator mouth and your alligator mouth is going to eat the bigger number because alligators love to eat. So when we look at these two numbers, we're going to compare. I am going to use the first strategy that we used last week, looking at the tens place. So I have six tens and one extra one, 61, and four tens and eight ones, 48. So if we're looking at the tens place, which number is bigger? Right, the six is bigger than four. So if I were using my alligator mouth or my greater than, less than, and equal to symbol, I would use this symbol because my alligator is eating the bigger number. So you can see, here's how we would read this number sentence. 61 is greater than 48. So we're using that symbol to eat the bigger number. All right, let's try another one. Ooh, all right, let's take a look at these numbers. All right, again, we have 32 and 59. You can use your hundreds chart. You can go find it on your hundreds chart, 39 or 32, 32 or 59. And you can compare which one is bigger or smaller. Um, we're going to take our alligator mouths again or a greater than, less than, and equal to sign and your alligator is going to eat the bigger number. So is three or five bigger? Or is 32 or 59? Which number is the bigger number? Shout it out for me. Right, 59. So we are going to take our symbol and make sure that it is open, the mouth is open to the bigger number. So let's read this. We have 32 is less than, 59. Let's see, what if we switch these? And we could read it, 59 is greater than 32. Awesome job. All right. All right, let's try one more set. And then I have, let's see, we have 73 and 34. 73 and 34. We're looking at that tens place, which one is the bigger number? Good, the seven is bigger. So we're going to take our alligator mouth and make sure that it is open 
to the 73 because that's the one we would want to eat. Read this with me. 34 is less than 73. Nice job. What if we put, oh, remember these from last week when we were ordering numbers with the same number in the tens place? So can we use these symbols today to compare these two numbers? Good. So can we look at the tens place today with this number? Nope, we would have to look at the ones place. So we have 34 and 32. Which number is bigger in the ones place since the tens place is the same? We have a four and a two. Which one do you think the alligator would want to eat? Good, the 34 is larger or 34 is greater than 32. All right, I have one more for you. Is there a symbol that we have not used yet? Yes, good. This one right here, the equal to symbol. What do you notice about these two numbers? 44, 44. What do you notice about those numbers? Yes, they are the same. So can we put this symbol in? No, because 44 is not bigger than 44. That is when we have to use this symbol called the equal to symbol. When numbers are the same, we use equal to. 44 is the same as 44. Great job. My challenge for you today is to make yourself some number symbols, some greater than, equal to, and um, less than symbols, and use your number cards from last week or make yourself some new ones and compare your sets of numbers. Um, I've also linked two really fun games below where you can play a race car game where you're comparing numbers. And then also there's another game where you can compare numbers. Um, so hopefully you can have fun with that this afternoon and practice your numbers. So proud of you. We love you and we miss you.